Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's episode, we need to talk about the major cryptocurrencies and how they are starting to kind of cool off right now, for the most part, and starting to slide lower. This is something I've warned you guys about a couple of days ago when we started to see XRP hit overbought on its moving average, its daily, uh, or sorry, its daily relative strength indicator here. With us hitting this resistance, we were kind of figuring, all right, we might start start to slow down now, potentially see correction, uh, which was not really surprising because if we take a look back at our previous bull flag, you can see this is the bull flag breakout here. This is the second one here. You can see the last time we kind of hit overbought was right here and also caused for some sort of cool off period. And then we pumped higher cool off period, then pumping higher. So it's very possible we could see that same thing actually happen, which is what we're, what I believe what we're experiencing now. Now, we're not just going to be looking at the potential cool off on XRP. We're also looking at Ethereum retesting its bottom support here, as well as Bitcoin retesting some sort of support as well. Unfortunately, Bitcoin is breaking back down still in a good situation uh, because we're trending above the the downtrend here. This was a, a bit of a res resistance in the past. Now it's kind of acting as a support. Regardless, we're retesting this right now and hopefully we can rebound off of it fingers crossed, but markets are starting to cool off and slide lower. Same thing with the S&P kind of holding up on its price floor right here, slight support, but we are starting to consolidate. So lots of things to go over in today's video. You know, we've been tracking these bull flag formations and these pennant flags for a very long time. You can see two or three days ago, we can go back five days ago. We can go back 12 days ago. We've been watching the bull flags and the descending fractals and all these charts uh, confirm breakouts weeks ago we've been tracking them so it's nice to see that they're finally starting to rally and now we're seeing a bit of a cool off period which is no surprise so we do have a lot of things to go over now moving forward um, i want to get a huge shout out to today's sponsor defexa wallet for those that don't know defexa wallet is banking safety for your crypto assets what's really cool is they just released their um, apple app store app as well as their google play store app which is really cool so make sure to check them out link is down in the description below but basically this is a really unique crypto storage wallet wallet that you can have on your phone, offering many different altcoins, many different cryptocurrencies on many different types of blockchains here. Tons of partners, tons of assets available. They even have a bank card that you guys can check out and incredible security. So more information on them will be later on in today's video. You can also check them out down in the description below. But with that being said, definitely make sure to like the video, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, diving into the technical analysis, as you guys can see here, most of the cryptocurrencies are consolidating. We're at 1.13 trillion, down about 0.5% overall, and markets are starting to consolidate a bit lower. But again, this is not something that I'm taking as a surprise in any sense, as markets kind of needed to see this consolidation to have a healthy you know, continuation pattern here. Healthy pullbacks are necessary for healthy consol uh, continuation patterns to the upside here. Most of the cryptocurrencies are just ever so slightly correcting lower here. The only thing we're seeing swing upwards is XRP up 11% here on an uptrend, which is still incredible. But most of the other major cryptocurrencies have had its peak and are starting to healthy pull back down ever so slightly. And I'm hoping, and I believe strongly that this is going to help us move up higher in the very near future. Now, specifically focusing on XRP, then we'll look at the Defexa wallet. You can see here that this is necessary for the price of XRP to come back down ever so slightly. We are ever so slightly close to retesting our stop loss again. And if we do get stopped out, it is what it is as consolidation is probably what's going to take place. We could potentially even fall even lower here, but then consolidate. And I believe then continuing to break up to the upside. And the reason why I draw something like this is because if you look at the previous time that we rallied out of the bull flag here, we did the same exact pattern and we're looking for that same thing to happen now. Retested, overbought, consolidated lower, retested, overbought, consolidating lower, so on and so forth, continuing that movement. And hopefully, heading upwards and hopefully heading upwards as you guys can see here. So that's what we're truly waiting for and anticipating. Now we'll see how long this exactly takes, but I do believe that that correction is necessary and coming. We've talked about this before. We're about to see a bullish cross on the moving average as well, which is also a very good sign. If not, it's already happening here, which is another reason why I believe it's only short term healthy consolidation followed by a beautiful break to the upside here. So keep your eyes peeled on XRP for right now. We do obviously have current trades open on XRP, but um, there's a chance that it could get stopped out or timed out. And then we'll have to consider buying back in once the consolidation is up. As I am still a strong believer, we are headed to the upside here. But 
It's really just a waiting game at this point. Moving forward, though, and looking at Ethereum and these other cryptocurrencies here, you can see we are starting to consolidate. You can see we are starting to pull back down. After the beautiful breakout, you can see the descending fractal, the, you know, falling wedge pattern here that consolidated filled in the gap. We finally had a breakout to the upside here, and now we're bouncing off, hopefully, this support here to head up higher. Ideally, we're starting to have a bit of resistance. This could be intertwined within these other cryptos, but I want to talk more about this in a second with you after we talk about the Defexa wallet. I want to give a huge shout out to Defexa wallet for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects though, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, Defexa is a new full circle solution for your cryptocurrency funds. Their project aims to shake up the idea of complicated crypto dealing and put the only app you need for your crypto management right there on your smartphone device. Now, the app has officially been developed and was actually just released a few days ago. And this is really good news because in anticipation for the official launch, Defexa will be offering a welcome bonus for a chance to win a $750 USDT reward pool for their audience. So that means go check out the link in the description below today to enter for a free chance to win some crypto as I've already done it. Now, to make the Defexa wallet a more comprehensive app for the all-purpose management of your funds, their team has created several solid features for the app. Now, the first is bank level safety. This means as a non-custodial wallet, the Defexa app doesn't own your cryptocurrency, you do. Now, to double up the safety of your assets, they even provide a backup phrase and a pin for everyday access to the wallet. Second, the Defexa app allows you to purchase your crypto with Fiat, Visa, or MasterCard, store your funds, swap 100 plus assets between four major networks at cost-efficient rates, including BNB Chain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Tron, with a built-in Fiat on-ramp solution. Now, they even let you sell your cryptocurrency with a single click as well. So far, Defexa Wallet will continue to launch new products that attract more users to their app. The Defexa team is already committed to providing their users with the best possible experience. This means whether you're a seasoned trader or new to the world of cryptocurrency, the Defexa app has something to offer for you, especially since their wallet interface is completely beginner friendly. They've combined simplicity, convenience, and functionality under one roof in their app, ultimately creating a unique interface that enables one-click trading and seamless management. So guys, make sure to join the Defexa's $750 USDT bonus with the link in the description of today's video down below. And also make sure to check out their app if you haven't already as it's available in the Android and Apple App Store. Otherwise, shout out to Defexa for sponsoring today's episode and let's get back into the technical analysis. So guys, uh, more information on Ethereum here to continue where we left off. Because we just recently broke out and surprisingly we're seeing some sort of bull trap, we do have a trade open on Ethereum as well, but we are holding up support. You can see we've had a bit of trouble breaking through the support in the past and we even waited to buy in once we confirmed breakout above the price ceiling it wasn't just above this descending fractal here or out of the descending fractal it was more so above the price ceiling just recently we finally confirmed above this resistance and we start we are starting to head up higher here so i'm a strong believer that we are going to bounce off this price floor hopefully and truly, that's what I believe, and head to the upside. But this was, again, not surprising at all because we're trading dead flat right in the center of an ascending fractal here, which is an extremely aggressive type of trading here. If you're going to take risks and trade inside of here, you have to understand that this is a moderate to aggressive trade. Conservative trades would be if we break below support here, then we can short it to the downside. That's conservative. Or we break above, then we can long it to the upside. That's conservative. But intra-trading inside this, asc this ascending fractal is extremely risky if you ask me. It's always been, and I believe it's always going to continue to be. But moving forward from Ethereum, looking at things like Bitcoin and these other cryptos, you guys can see here, what we need to pay attention to is the same thing that we were talking about on Ethereum. The fact of the matter is we're trading yet again inside the ascending fractal here. This is extremely risky. There's a lot of risk to this. However, again, this is a bullish usually textbook bullish formation here. We did break out of here. Yes, it's some sort of bull, fla uh, bull trap here. However, we're now back to retesting the top of the resistance of the price floor as well as the moving averages. This to me screams recovery and reversal off that. That's where I'm looking to see happen. Obviously, anything can happen, but truly, 
this is the reversal pattern that I expect to see take place. Now, with that all being said, uh, before we wrap things up, I want to look at the S&P. There's a good chance the S&P can hopefully hold out above this price floor here. Very good chance it will. And we'll see more of this consolidation take place. It's also possible to dip down a moving average. But this is the lowest point I see happening. And I still am bullish long term on the S&P 500. Um, any, so that is a wrap for today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.